It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 2005, recorded Thursday, September 12th, 2024. Jaws and Claws. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, Dickie D has a claw machine for tots. Also, another what the heck is it? And I have the biggest stockpile of as seen on TV gadgets that exist. All next on The Giz Wiz! It's the same with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz Wiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, frozen rows of USBs, growing blue and yellow. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. Now! Now! Here he is, our gadget paleontologist, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? Wow, I look pale? <laughs> just a test. Just a test. Uh, just, uh, uh, just, just a test. Uh, I am good, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing very good. You still uh, running a million miles? Not quite. I have, I have fallen off the wagon on running. Although today... I finally uh, got off the couch and ran for two miles, and uh, and well, I should say I moved for two miles. I did not run all of the two miles. I'm, I am trying oh. to get back to it. Um, yeah, it, is, it had been. Uh, I have uh, definitely for working out. There's like stretches where I'm great for like three weeks, and then the worst I am is like one workout every like five days. Okay, well, oh, I'm happy to hear that because last time I was thinking, this guy's like Superman. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, it comes in waves. In motivation, it's like you know, it's it's like a New Year's resolution every month. You know, and it just depends on what the resolution is going to be. Um, yeah. So no, so I've fallen a little bit off of the running habit uh, over the past probably two months. I haven't been running quite as much. But, um, but yeah, picking, picking that up. The other thing is, it's been extremely hot in Florida. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's, that's, <laughs> so that has also no been a bit of a damper. Um, and so uh, as the summer and August, how, hopefully after, uh, uh, honestly, you know, uh, soon it'll start getting a bit cooler, uh, to make it a bit easier on me. Um, oh, okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, so I have a surprise for you. I'm giving you a little tease. Tease you just okay. before we went live. I found one of the coolest stores ever, and I can't wait to show it to y'all in the crappy corner. I y'all have to wait till the crappy corner to see it. But uh, well, is it is it, a, is it a chain of stores no. or you? Oh, uh uh. This is a boutique. Okay, this is oh. one store. This is not a chance. Sorry, I, don't get your hopes up. I don't think there's going to be no, one. No, no, I was hoping. You know, it was like five below. Mm -mm. I was so jealous. And then they finally opened one in New York, and now I think we have three. Right. So it's not like that. No, okay. no, 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 no. This, okay. is, this is definitely in the boutique hand-selected store category, okay? Yeah. Wow. It's exciting. It's exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. Y'all just have to wait. For the crappy corner. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm 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 willing to jump in, okay. and you should just start. Sure. Yeah. I don't really have. I don't think. Uh, let me think. I don't think anything big happened over the week to uh, chat about. So yeah, let's jump in. Yeah. Nothing thrilling here either. <laughs> it's just uh, just a week. <laughs> yes, it was a quiet week. A quiet week. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So let's uh, jump to some gadgets. Oh, uh, one of this. I think his first gadget is so cute, and here it is. What's in the name? Sometimes I see something on Amazon, and based on the name alone, I think I should buy this for the Gizwiz. And that was the case with the dinosaur claw machine, oh. which I bought. And when it came, the less impressive doll what? machine. The doll machine. Huh? Okay. Well, this is a better picture, okay? The doll machine. Um, it's, oh, it's, it's still the same thing. They just named it like different. One of those Coney Island claw machine things. Well, I thought they shipped great. you a teddy bear mm -hmm. for a second. 
Yeah, I, I think they just use the same box. Evidently, there must be a bunch of versions. Well, I assume you could make anything you want in it. It looks slick. Uh -huh. it looks well made. Uh, I, I, I think this is really fun. neat. You need money to operate it. You can put little colored balls in it. A little, oh, there's a bunch, wow, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Must be the top of the machine. These That's the dinosaur that part. Go in the machine. Little plush, oh, little plush dolls. There's a pussy cat. Those are cute. And. Oh, okay. I don't know why. I'm not quite sure why you need the battery, but. This looks like fun, so we will put batteries in, put the top on, and come back. Batteries are in it, uh, and we're dropping in a couple of toys. All right, and you need coins. There are zero instructions. I can't believe it. And nothing on the box, okay? A little volume control. Oh, different songs. This is pretty neat. Looks like either <laughs> three or four songs. I can see now that there's too much stuff there's in there. There's too much stuff. Yeah. Oh, I see. This cranks, this cranks the, sh the, uh, grabber around. Oh, and you have to keep, <laughs> this is, actually, this is pretty neat. I, I like this, okay? As long as you can get the coins out of the bottom without having to pay. So it's a timed game, all right? Oh, uh, I'm gonna get, it, I'm gonna get. Uh, no! And the little shovel pod is electric. Ah, uh, no. I no. can't believe it. Well, you know what? It's the three year olds. I'm too old. <laughs> this is hard. Let me get that by itself. I almost have it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now I forgot. Oh. You, <laughs> you lost. lost. My lost. coin ran out. I hate to be beaten by a three-year-old <laughs> game. It looks like you're doing good. Okay. You I think this up. is good. Ah. Oh, wait, wait. Hey. Now I have to bring he has it, it in the claw. The, uh, release the no, claw no, and no. away. Wow. <laughs> That's okay. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I'm as good as a three year old. <laughs> it's like, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Are you yes, as yes, good yes. as a three year old? <laughs> I think it's so clever. And also, you know, it said put in. Put in your own candy bars. Put in. I think it's. I think it's so cute. Then this thinks a three-year-old wouldn't be able to do it, but I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I guess a, a three. Yeah, I think three would. Yeah, be the start. I think a three-year-old could do it. Do but, it. Yeah. Yeah, I would put a lot less things in there too. Yes. No. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Like we certainly. Yeah. So you get a lot more stuff than you need, and that's why I threw everything in because I thought I thought you're supposed to do to that. Me. Yeah, yeah. My, oh my you? gosh! Look at how many different. I know there's so many. Oh my oh, gosh! The unicorn one. You got. <laughs> Yikes! There is a lot. Holy moly! Okay. The other crazy thing is that Scooter X found an option. I love the Photoshop child, though, in front of it, because it makes it look massive. Oh, yes, yes. 
that now, is a. Is the dinosaur different? It doesn't yours have a dome, or is this uh, mine? Same? Yeah, mine. Yeah, my dinosaur head is in a is like in a dome. Oh yeah, it's a bit different. But this looks. A... Th yeah, but you know the controls almost look the same. Yeah, oh, that's, that's ridiculous! That it looks tiny... like something. <laughs> it looks like a phone booth. <laughs> I also love how the light, the shadow, is over here, as you can see on the right side of the image. And then the shadow on the child is on the left side of the child. <laughs> so you absolutely oh, that, know this was a composited image. That's very funny. That's very funny. Um, that's a, I, I think this is a fun little toy. This seems like something that would be really fun to like bring out at like Halloween or something. Oh, oh yes. Like at a party. Oh, you know at a, exactly at a party to see and i like the fact that it's time the coin gives you like 90 seconds and at the bottom there's just a little flip open door yeah. uh to get the coins back out and the little coins come with it i think it's very clever yeah yeah i, I had played with something very similar uh at a few uh minecraft marathons uh we did oh those. you have yes but that one looks a little bit more i mean it looks way more involved uh than than those a bigger uh basket a lot more toys um and obviously in the sounds and played next stuff like it looks a lot better um so uh so yeah yeah cool little yeah Thir shoot. 30 bucks plays four songs i am control i like it i like it i like it and lots of options. So do your research on Amazon because you could find a deal. Yes, there are a ton. A ton of them. A of, ton of yes, them. a ton. A ton. Okay. Well, what do you got next? Oh, well, uh, something that happened. Well, you have to watch a video. It's, it's sort of scary at first. Oh, whoa. If you've been following the saga of missing my boat and turning my bedroom into a ship, with waves and fog and stars and portholes. The portholes were the latest oh, edition. You need a fog horn. We made a terrible mistake going out one night and leaving one of the portholes open. And when I came home, as hard as it, as it is to believe, there was a dead shark. <laughs> In <laughs> my bed. Ow. Oh, my God. He looks so oh, smart. <laughs> that, this guy must be about <coughs> eight feet tall. And I guess we're going to bury him in the backyard. Or maybe just dump him <laughs> it, in the Hudson. It looks like roadkill. Remember, <laughs> if you have portholes, keep them closed and your eyes open. <laughs> Oh Ooh. no! It got you. Yes, I I was spit, eaten. Spit that podcaster yeah, up. That's good. All right. <laughs> this is what the shark costume looks like with the lights on, and you know when you order stuff from Amazon, it's usually on the small side. So I thought I'll fold them and get extra large, and then it'll fit. Well, take a look at this. Okay, my fins. Don't even show, but my fins are down there. Oh my gosh! You see that my fins? Uh -huh. You need to be like eight feet. So this tall. is the extra large. Okay, I'm five foot eight, <laughs> and I mean it's kind of fun. Uh -uh -uh. Dude, it looks like a profile great profile blanket. You know the profile shot. Yeah, this is what it looks like oh, in the swimming. ocean. Oh, oh yes. yeah. Yeah, keep going. We just need to add some bubble shot. effects. Uh -uh -uh. Whoa! Quarter. That's good. You do. You look like you're water. Right. Okay. Little suspension of disbelief. That is That's, great. That is great. That is so funny. So it's great for cosplay or Halloween. I mean, I now, can honestly just see lounging around the house in this thing. Yes, I mean, absolutely. And, and and they're adult sizes. I, they do make them for kids, but don't get the extra. The extra large said. Up to five, uh, uh, from five nine up, and I'm five eight, and I thought, you know, if if it's too tight, I won't be able to get get in it. I'll just get the extra large. Do you have it you with saw. you now? Does it is it around? 
Oh, uh, it's still in the bedroom. Okay, because we we yeah. could get a menagerie going. <clears throat> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Well, so, the, the shark is way harder to get in. Yeah, this you, is not a shark. You, this is a stingray, actually. Oh, oh, okay. And when I saw this on the thing, I thought I, I had to go grab it. This is a, uh, I went to a, a, a Tampa Bay uh, uh, Rays game, and um, oh, they're, oh, oh. They're fan, they, so they gave this away for free, just for going to the game. Oh, wow, thing. okay, okay. Uh, but they're, they were the Devil Rays, which is like the, like the um, you know, Big uh, stingray. Um, yeah, stingray, yeah. And then they changed to the rays as in like a ray of sunlight, which I think is the dumbest th name change ever. Anyway, uh, but they have all this devil rays kind of uh, history, and they have a stingray tank at the baseball field, um, and you can touch stingrays. And they had to put a, a net over the tank because... Uh, home runs kept falling into the tank. Oh my god! <laughs> they were worried. They were worried about the the stingray's health, so they uh, they had to put a big net over that. Anyway, it reminded me of uh, of your gadget, which looks honestly amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great fun. It, I love uh, it. Yeah. I think it's great fun. It looks comfortable. It looks like a fun costume or a blanket. Like yes, yes. It looks great. 30 bucks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it looks great. Yeah, I like it. I like it so much. Now, yeah. uh, you got to find other things for the bedroom. Now, what do you got? Seahorses? Yeah. Um, Boy, uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure what's going <laughs> to be next. What other type of onesie do you need? I'm sure there's a mermaid onesie. You know, they do uh, make one. Yeah, they do make one because in the copy, they must have copied the copy from something else. And in in somewhere along the line said, and your mermaid costume. And I said, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a second. This started out as a shock. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, OK, well, that is a That is another fantastic the, a great thing. And the third thing is, uh, what the heck? Is it? Ooh. We're going to do a what the heck is it, which might be easy. The only one here to guess is Dennis. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. It's a drying bag. A what? A, a, a bag for drying things. A bag for drying to keep things. keep bugs Anything off your food? Particular? Lingerie? No. Well, is that's bad. No. Drying is excellent, okay? Is it, it for... Is a to keep cap, your cat in one spot. cap washer. <laughs> oh, a cap okay. washer. And I love that I typed in. <laughs> I said cat, not cap. Is it all <laughs> assembled? And it says, yes, just use it right out of the box. Really? Huh? Doesn't seem like it. All right, so we cheated. We, <laughs> we had to go back to the Amazon page. because This is how it comes. It just comes in its bag. Nothing... All right. No instructions. So it says just insert the hat rack into the corresponding numbered buckles. But ah. lots of luck trying to find a number on these things. Right. But we just got the center ones and it worked out. So now we're just assembling the rest of it. Yeah. And there you can hear them clicking in. Okay. All right, so now, then the baseball cap goes on next. Okay. Finally found a baseball cap I'm willing to put through the dishwasher, okay? I found, like, my Good Morning America hat, my Tech TV hat, my Family Feud hat, my Wheel of Fortune hat signed by Pat Sajak and Vanna White. Yeah, not that hat. Don't wash that my hat. My work boat hat. Okay. Ah. Workboat was a magazine that I subscribed to. And then, then all right, so we're putting it in here. And you can sort of see it. It's been through the ringer. Yeah, it was originally white. Boating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dirty, it's pretty so dirty. That looks like paint. That's not going to come out. Uh, so, uh, both. The, com the company yeah, says I'm that their it. hat washer can go in a dishwasher put it through the dishwasher. or a washing machine. What? And I thought you just misspoke. 
No. We will see what it, how it comes out. All right. What I'll probably do is put it through the dishwasher. Because I don't have a washing machine. Back here and open it up and see if it kept its shape and if it got any cleaner. So I'm just putting the hat by itself in a dishwasher uh, with no dishes in case <laughs> the dishes had dirt on them that might go on the hat. And I'm I just going to put in a little bit of soap and let it run through All its right, cycle. The dishwasher has finished. Um, and we're going to roll this open. And it's soaking wet. If, if it wasn't on the Amazon, I would and not believe you know it. What? what the heck? Yeah. I'll open it and we'll see before it dries if it looks any cleaner. Uh, uh, uh. Well, it is soaking wet. So that <laughs> the paint didn't come out. Did you put detergent in there? No, until it dries. A tiny bit. Yeah. If it got any cleaner. We let the hat dry overnight. Uh, uh, um. And we are about to see. I mean, it's, I would say it looks cleaner. I think it, I think, it, I think almost the whole hat got a tiny bit lighter, but it definitely got cleaner. I don't, um, I don't know. It's like, uh, well, it's clean. It's just that it was messy when you yeah. put it in. It's stained. Yeah. It's, it's still dirty. faded. It's stained. The, yeah. Yes. The paint lightened a tiny bit, but we knew that wouldn't come out. Um, but it looks clean. Uh, uh, um, kept its shape. My guess is it would work better in a washing machine where it would go around. Even the dishwasher just had the jets hitting it. Um, but that's it. We'll have Chad go to the website. I think it was, God, I can't remember. I think it might have been 14 bucks. Hats off to you. <laughs> it's uh twelve dollars online. It, it, uh, right. You see, uh, it I do. I, I'm code. on this still. <laughs> Dish yeah. It says hours, and then it says it can use a top loading washing machine, a dishwasher with a big old check mark, front loading and dryer, and it says others, and you can still use it in the dishwasher in others. So. I guess joke's on us. I, I didn't know that you could use a hat wash. Uh, hat. Ne well, neither, neither did I. Yeah. You like, know, maybe... I, I'm just uh, curious. I'm just going to click this competition person. So they don't mention it. Oh. Ah, they do! That is a brand new thing to me. I would have never thought that dishwasher was an actual... Uh, thing they're suggesting that you do. Here's uh, this is back to your uh, gadget here. Yeah, I mean, if you're interested and you need two, it seems to drop. Two of them are eighteen dollars. It yeah. drops it to nine dollars. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, I guess the, this mesh, you know, with the jets kind of hitting the hat. If it has any detergent, I'm gonna get a little bit of friction. I don't know. Seems yeah. Maybe a full size dishwasher would be better. I think yours. Than, I, I mean, I think if the yeah, jets are anyway. hitting it, the jets are hitting it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. I mean, I, well, I you, as you can see, I have many hats. This one I have thrown through the washing. The oh yeah, just washing. just the way it is without just the way it is. And I will tell you, it changed. <laughs> it changed this hat. Uh, it became a bit more flat, like this. It's you know, kind of like that. Um, it doesn't have, you know, it used to be a bit more, you know, up like this, right. something like, more like that. Um, and now it does, you know, it's weak here in here, uh, because I think it was pushed up against the clothes and getting, you know, walked. Oh, like okay. that. yeah. Well, this would solve that. That would solve that. Now, when you put it on your head, I still think that it looks a bit crushed here, which is kind of from the washing machine in my mind. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, the other thing that I do is just avoid washing. You know, <laughs> this is a hat I have not ever washed, but I just don't wear it so often that I worry about you know sweat in it and that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, that's that's an interesting gadget. I like it. I I, I uh, am shocked that it works in a dishwasher and um, not too expensive and definitely needed if you're a hat wearer. 
because yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have a hat and you want it to keep its shape, yeah, it's probably worth yeah twelve bucks or nine bucks for two. Yeah, and that's the yeah. thing is like I love this hat, and so I wear this one all the time. It gets sweaty, and then at a point, I'm just like, I don't want to put that on my head anymore. <laughs> I need to <laughs> wash that. And then I also I have a lot of uh, uh, this is kind of a bad example, but where there's just no structure to the top, and I use that oh a lot. yeah 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 I use that a lot for my running hats, uh, and those are great because those just go straight in the wash and they get also those on. those are good hats to pack. Yes, exactly. This they don't is take up any room. Yeah, this one is just like oh there you go. You know, just there throw you go. that in there. Anyway, that is a great gadget. Okay, well without further ado, I teased it. Uh, the crappy corner store you have to see. So let's jump into Chad's crappy yo, yo, corner. Yo, but you might want it at Chad's crappy corner. Get it. Okay, dokie. Well, ooh, my gas is falling over. Uh, let's just jump into the video, shall we? Here oh, okay, we great. Go. Hey Diggy D, as you know, this month's theme is As Seen on TV. So what did I find? An As Seen on TV store. If, if you've seen it, we've got oh my that's God. the oh store. Oh my God, wow. So this is it. Oh, so holy cow. many As Seen on TV gadgets. I found the mother load. This is in a uh, area called uh, Old Town, which is uh, it is just like a whole bunch of stores, at little boutiques. And we are back in the studio, and this is one of the gadgets that I picked up at the As Seen on TV store. I really like going there because, as you can tell with this package and the amount of dust that has accumulated <laughs> on the top of it, uh, it's really cool to see which gadgets have been around for a while. I could easily guess a few years uh, with this one on those shelves. Um, so it's a really good indication of what's a um, going to be a crummy gadget uh, and what might not be. This one I had to pick up because it was the Window Wiz. A wiz. Oh, wiz. my God. Anything named Wiz. That was, it's definitely not spelled right. What is? Um, pretty cool. So obviously it is an uh, attachment to a bottle. So it, it says it should fit any type of spray bottle. Um, and then it adds the squeegee and oh the, my a God. microfiber cloth uh, onto it. So let's open her up. The color of the plastic is, uh, it feels like this was in a smoker's house. Um, here we go, opening up the clamshell, the, the, you can touch it. Oh section. my God, it's filthy. Really dirty. That is really funny. And there it is out of the package and you can see how many people uh, use it. Whoa, it's spring loaded. That is really cool. Oh, it comes with new chamois. Wow. This is what one of these looked like before all the sun damage. This one is maybe much easier more to see neon by green. the human eye. <laughs> That's yeah. really funny. And then uh, what else is in here? We got some instructions I'll take a look at, and it looks like there's a few um, gaskets as well. And then the window whiz, which is uh, on the side. So I'm gonna take a look at the instructions and uh, then we'll be right back to attach it to this bottle. Okay, I'm switching the chamois out, and uh, it seems pretty simple to install onto the bottle. And the spring-loaded action of this little chamois has got me super-duper intrigued. So here we go. Just take whatever bottle you have and then untwist the top. There's like a child lock on this one. What is going on here? Oh, there we go. Open. You have to take the, the tube oh, all the way out oh, and oh, then I, place this on. Oh. And then put the top on. One second. This is not the uh, window whiz is not really fitting on the base very well. Maybe that's part of the design. Let's just keep going. <laughs> the window whiz is not wide enough. The window whiz expects a skinnier spout, I think. Oh, window no. whiz, this is a this is a, a window failure. What the heck? Let me go get a different spray bottle. This is too oh wide to go 
into the plastic part of the window is. Oh. It needs an XL. Uh, we're only here at medium. Let me go see if there is a different uh, uh, spray bottle I have. Okay, so I picked up a few bottles. This one really looks like it'll work. This is a Lysol bottle, and this is one of those new designs that doesn't have one of the uh, twists like normal. Oh, yeah. that, yeah. I think this one might actually work. No. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't really fit. Yeah, it's not really secure on there. <laughs> Get off of here, Window Wiz. This is a failure of a product, I can tell you right now. <laughs> not a fan of the Window Wiz. Maybe there was a reason that the packaging looks 30 years old. This one I'm convinced will work. The problem is that this is method wood cleaner. Um, oh. which I have no use for this you have no wood windows yeah, exactly. situation for the type of, oh my gosh, this is so annoying. What they really need is actually a hole to be cut right here. So I can use my finger to push down the, this floppy. Oh, yeah. How you gonna... I wish I could do that. Oh, there's a hole back here. Wait, one minute. This is the worst product ever. I hate this product <laughs> so much. This is the best. There we go. This is the best we can do. Okay. This is the best we can do. Did I somehow break? No, there's still something floppy and wrong with the squirter. It's like, it doesn't, because this is here, it doesn't have enough friction that it normally has. The idea would be to squirt, squirt, squirt. I'm not going to squirt wood cleaner onto this TV. And then come over and use this spring-loaded action oh, to I wipe. See. And then, how the heck, how does this come out? What does this do? I guess it's just hidden under there? No, it's not even hitting the TV. I can see there's a big gap. As I press this, I don't know how the. You see that uh, gap between the plastic? Oh, yeah! The, the chamois is too thick, so the. This the, is the worst. This is the absolute worst. <laughs> you, uh, you saw it here. Uh, it wouldn't work at all. I bought this for uh, $12.99. We're going to have to search the internet to see if the absolutely horrible window whiz uh, is still available. Transform any spray bottle, wrong, wrong, into a cleaning machine. Back Can to you guys. I can't believe they would lie to me like that. Uh, we did find it online only on eBay. eBay was the only spot that I could find it. More than I spent on it. <clears throat> 15, 15 bucks. 15 bucks. Uh, like, I don't even... What bottle is that? Who has ever owned a bottle that looks like that? No one. Maybe the maybe the inventor. Yeah. And he what? Th and he thought all bottles were that way. That makes that, no sense. No. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. So here's the window is and yeah, what I'm saying is this squeegee uh it doesn't move at all. The the micro the cloth is in the way. And the bottle, uh, I left the bottle, but the bottle's base extended so so far that I couldn't get enough of an angle. Oh, oh I see, yeah. To use just the squeegee part on a piece of glass. Absolutely horrible. Um, love that store. I ended up buying two more gadgets to fill out the month. Um, oh, okay. One of the gadgets had the commercial playing. So, uh, and so I recorded the commercial um, of that gadget, so that'll be a fun one. Uh, and then the other one was just uh, fun. So, um, we have some more of the As Seen on TV gadgets coming up. And did, did you see this color of the... Yeah, it, yes, it's been in the store for years. Uh, there's, like, this orange color feels like it had to have been... That store must have been smoking at some point. I don't understand. Why? How did it got that yellow? Anyway. Maybe it was in the window. The and window with the whiz, sun hitting it. The window yeah. whiz in the window? Yeah. Makes sense. In the window. Makes yeah. sense. Okay. You know, with that. Don't, you, don't you think a lot of, since that store had so many, don't you think that companies just say as seen on TV? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. To, I me, mean, to me, it, the ass scene on TV is we produced a commercial. Oh, well, I would say that they didn't even bother. I was going to say we bought the label. I think I think that they probably made it. I think all these products probably have a commercial that they ran a bit. You know, it only takes, you know, I could probably run a commercial for $10,000, you know, and if you're doing a whole product line, you know, just put that in the budget, run a few commercials, slap the logo on it, and then absolutely. And then the logo helps sell the product, you know, and then it's just a... Yeah, okay. it's just a it's just a marketing ploy of it's so funny because they have the, you're right as seen on TV's gadgets just have this reputation of yes. of this of these weird products that kind of help your life and people love buying them. Yes, so, that yeah. some of them pasta pasta was one that works <laughs> great and that yes. was an as seen on TV thing. Yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, if you. Want tape that is un impossible to pull off. Alien tape is great tape. You know, that was an ass seen on TV gadget. Great, fantastic tape. Uh, yeah. Okay, so with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in this gadget warehouse. Okay, you know, I don't know if Rachel is in the chat. Rachel ZZ writes, hi guys, I have a cool repair kit gadget to share. And the story is in her video. Ooh, here it is. Hi guys, I uh, was about to do a repair project and I realized, oh, this would make a great gadget for the Gizwiz. So I have my lovely patio swing here Ooh. that I love. I've had it for like 11 years. That looks um, comfortable. Is, a couple years ago in the winter, the snow slides right off the roof and hit my lovely patio swing. And so this is what the joint where the canopy oh. attaches is supposed to look like. And... It broke from the snow hitting it. Oh! And it lasted... Oh, I fixed it with this thing I'm going to fix it with again. Um, and it lasted until, oh, another chunk of snow fell off and hit it. So, fixing it again this year. I'm going to take the canopy off for winter. So, people might recognize this if they watch Shark Tank. JB Weld Fiber Weld Permanent Repair Cast. Huh! Um, yeah, Water Activated Fiberglass Wrap. So you can see from oh. the little illustrations, you got a wrap, and then you did, you like cure, and then, oh, and then it works. Okay, so it comes with this packet that is the adhesive wrap part. It Do not touch it with your bare hands. Yeah. And it comes, this is the outer casting thing, and some gloves. I am so fascinated. So basically I'm going to take this packet of stuff, put it in some warm water, and then wrap it all up, and... Uh, let it cure for 15 minutes, and I will show you the finished project. Oh, I am use, I'm going to use zip ties this time to hold it in place because it was really hard last time. Um, and I'm also adding this bar that I had laying around. I'm going to put that right here to help Ooh. secure it. Oh, that'll be that'll really, be good. That'll be zip tie that and it'll hold it. Yeah, it broke at a really bad spot. Yeah, the joint. And it's because it was rusting, in addition to the snow hitting it. So I will be back in uh, probably about fascinated 20 minutes. By that. Real time. All right, guys, here it is. It is all fixed up. It's perfect. Old now. And I will definitely make sure this uh, this winter I take the canopy off. That's perfect. So that uh, it does not get broken again. But uh, when it was on Shark Tank, I just looked this up, it, the JB Weld was actually called Fiber Fix. And then it was bought by the company JB Weld, which makes other products. But so that is that. Oh, it was uh, funded by Lori on there, and it costs ten thirty eight right now on Amazon. I think it might retail normally for eleven ninety nine. Not bad, um, because this particular awning cannot. Well, the frame of it cannot be repurchased. It has to be repaired, and I don't want to buy a new swing because I love the one I have. Yeah, right, bye. <clears throat> I agree. 
Also, that swing is like made out of steel. Yeah. Why'd you get rid of J- it? JB yeah. Weld makes a bunch of stuff. And and uh, the guy who works on my boat said, oh, JB Weld makes incredible products. But Fiber Weld, uh, uh, I guess, is is new to them. I feel like their tagline should be JB Weld Fiber Weld. When duct tape isn't enough. You know, like. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> This is a, like the superhuman duct tape, it seems like. This is so cool. I actually did not know about this product at all. Um, that's so neat. It looks, yeah, so I guess you get it warm. You kind of impregnate that wrap with it. Let it cure. That's neat. And then, whoops, I didn't mean to click that. And then, uh, and then you, have, you have a fixed product for 10 bucks versus buying a whole yeah. new... A whole new awning or whatever. That is great. I also really like, uh, uh, this is just a silly little thing, but I like that it's black. Like, I like that it is, uh, that it really, especially on that repair that we saw. Um, it yes, really yes. Blended in. It's not some weird neon yeah. color. <laughs> so, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no that is good. That is good. That was cool. JB Weld, I would not have known about that. Thank you, Rachel, for the repair. And, um... I feel like Rachel. Rachel did the hair thing, right? And I also feel like was Rachel the one with the costume? I feel like Rachel had a really cool costume. I may be remembering a different fan. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I remember the hair thing. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, thank uh, you so much, Rachel. Ra- Rachel, Rachel, yes, yeah, Sims to Rachel is her uh, her chat room name, and mm-hmm. it's Rachel Zizi. Mm-hmm. Now we need more videos, okay? I believe that was the last video we have hanging around. So make a video, one to three minutes. Uh, as with Rachel, you can talk over the video, talk over the product as you do the demo. If you want to be in it, like Mad Frank was t- taking a shower uh, <laughs> in last week's video, uh, anything you like, just use landscape uh, format. Uh, Make sure we can see the product and hear your voice. Up to one to three minutes, put it on YouTube. When you upload, a drop-down menu is there. You can pick unlisted, and that way only people with the URL will be able to watch your video. Don't don't use private. That means only you can watch it. Uh, Mail at gizwiz.tv is where you send your video. And as I said, I believe... We need one for next week, okay? Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it now. With that, let's move on to the letter. All right, our letter is from Randy in Colorado. And Randy says, hey, I noticed whenever Chad shows Scooter X AliExpress finds, the price is shown has a welcome deal in the red bar above it. I I think that's the extra low price and free shipping just to get people to sign up and make their first purchase. This is the info I I need to know. Yes, Good. as it, uh, seen in my attached image, the price of the dog puzzle was three nineteen. You see the red banner yeah. up there, welcome deal. When I was not logged in, I got a but log jumped, in. Yeah, but Ugh. jumped to twelve nineteen. Yeah, when I logged into my account. I've been I've been oh, given even, fake info here on the Gizwiz. <laughs> okay. But so I gotta log the, in to get the real that price. makes sense. Yes, ah. yes. And, and you know, I've had that happen a bunch of times when Never they long. send me when they send me um a, a an ad saying, get this for just four bucks, and I sign in and it says four bucks, and I put it in my cart and I look and it's fourteen bucks. Yes. yes. So now Randy in Colorado, a.k.a. You. Flipper, longtime yeah. viewer, first-time sender in of a letter. Thank you. Thank you. This is right. I, I, I could kind of tell something fishy was going on, 
But yeah. I never quite had enough time to figure it out while I was live on the yeah. show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 and and, and uh, he uh, Randy adds, Jeff Bezos should pay me for writing this. He should, but he didn't. No, no. Jeff Bezos yeah. should, honestly. Because it's probably, a lot of people probably do what we do. Go, $2 for the dog thing? I should set up on the count. That's great. Uh, thank you so much. For oh, that. since the Rachel just came in, got stuck oh, at work, made it in time for the end. Okay. We loved it. Honestly, I had never heard of JB Weld. It's, it's, I swear, I, I swear I've seen it. It's, but there's too many products that exist, you know? Sometimes yeah. I'm glad to get, I'm glad to get the, uh, low down from firsthand experience. Yeah, no, they, they make. All they make like repair engine block yeah. wells. Yeah, they, yeah, they I know. Make. Yeah, I think I know them mostly from just epoxy, like buying that tube of, like, uh, I think they do the that mix epoxy thing when you mix it. In, yeah, it yes, they way. do A and B. Yeah, yeah, they they make a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Okay, well, uh, with that, I want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreoncom gizwiz. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for your support of our show. We really, really appreciate the support. If you like the show, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. You can also head to our website, gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab at the top of the website, and there's a big banner that'll take you to our Patreon page. Also, there is a tiny little link that'll take you to our PayPal uh, so that you can donate via PayPal. There's that little... PayPal link if you want to uh, give that way. Patreon is like a reoccurring thing if you've never heard of it. Uh, and uh, obviously PayPal can be set up as reoccurring or just a single time donation. However you support, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. And uh, we love you uh, a lot, so, so much. <laughs> uh, head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv to watch the show live. Just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time, whenever we're live, the website will just update with the live stream. You can join the chat room and chat along with all the fantastic folks there. Here, let's see, what are they saying? Let's see if they say, hi, mom, uh, while we're still scrolling on, on the website. Uh, if you miss an episode, don't worry. We have our episodes there after the fact, uh, gizwiz.tv. You can also... Uh, subscribe on iTunes or on YouTube if uh, you don't ever want to miss a show. There we go, Pack and Debbie with the Hi Mom. Good people in the chat room, so watch us live if you can. Uh, head on over to Dickie D's website, gizwiz.biz, where he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you ever need a link back to a gadget, gizwiz.biz is the place to go. While you're there, play the real, the one and only, what the heck is it? This is, we like to, we like to parry in it, but this is the one. And this is the gadget, a whole gadget, not just a piece or part of a gadget. And uh, this is uh, obvious to me that uh, it's a converter. Yeah, it converts dishwashers into hat washers and uh there's mm -hmm. some, you could have gotten that one instead <laughs> so the other that thing, I don't know. Uh, uh, if you think you know what this is get a guess then over at gizwiz.biz six mad magazines for correct answers 12 mad magazines for funny clever or hilarious answers so get a guess then over at gizwiz.biz that about wraps it up for our show we'll see you next week I'll be here.